In 2008, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. My first suicide attempt was in 2009. I had been further diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. It was a mixture of paranoia, depression, and mania. To cut things short, I always felt undesirable. I felt disabled, poor, and ugly. To be honest, even to this day, I have been single for five years and I have had no quality relationships that I felt deeply attracted to. I was always crazy and broken. In fact, I posted a video on my Beyond Bipolar blog on YouTube called Life is Meaningless, and it was my most popular video with 95% likes. So many people wonder why they are living. So many comment about suicide. It was a surprising revelation because 95% of my videos give advice on bipolar disorder. It is true 5% of my day I question living. It is dangerous because a short term feeling could be a permanent suicide. But likewise, I digress. I am impacting people on my social media presence. I am commiserating with my viewers. And personally, I feel deeply responsible. I may not be taking any action, but my inaction is affecting people for the worse. I am causing people to question their lives. But I want to share with you my two-year transformation. I do not want to emphasize my misery, but my motivation to be the very best. Here you will see how I change my physical self, along with my spiritual self, and most importantly my mental health. I no longer wanted to be known as the person that people come to question their life but be that person to give them a reason for purpose and a reason to live. I was at my highest weight of 175.8 pounds March 9, 2019. I was depressed, unhopeful, and felt undesirable. I've had seven hospitalizations, two partial hospitalizations, in a 90-day group home, dialectal behavioral therapy nine hours a week for six months, and several therapists. I just could not live anymore. Most importantly, I had no desire to. I have tried over 30 different meds, including anti-anxiety, antidepressants, antipsychotics, and mood stabilizers. I gained so much weight with poor diet and little exercise. I was at my worst before now, and importantly, if I did not change, I wanted to kill myself and end it all. I had such a negative outlook that bottom line, I wanted to change. I was going to do whatever it takes to lose weight. It was this ultimate desire that led me to change. Anyone can have a goal, but with utmost desire, diet, and dedication, anything can happen. And here you can see my two-year transformation. I just want to clarify things. You still may be depressed. You still may want to commit suicide. But there is nothing more fulfilling than feeling like you have some control. Why stay miserable? Do your best to survive, but most importantly, I ask you to live. I ask you to get up and try again and again. You will always have failures, but if you keep taking action, you will be closer to your goal. Truth is, with inaction, that is the only outcome to ultimate failure. So from the bottom of my heart, I want you to listen, but I just ask you to listen to me. I want to be listened to, but most importantly, I want to inspire and have impact on your life for the better. I do not want you to suffer. I want you to know that I care about you and that I unconditionally love you. You just have to believe that yourself. You must say you matter. Repeat after me, I matter. I am important. I care. I can impact others. I can inspire. I can take control of my life. Most importantly, your I cans will be I wills. So strengthen your desires with I will and I must. I will be rich. I will find love. I will find happiness and success. And you will. Ever since from birth, you have desire to crawl, then to stand. You're inherently born to win, but you're scolded and disciplined for failures, and that leads you to ultimately give up and blame others for your failures. I get it. It is a protection mechanism. But if you want to change, you must believe you are responsible for your beliefs and actions. You may be inclined to a disadvantage in genetics, like mental health issues or physical disabilities, but you can always do your best. You may not believe in God, but you must believe in yourself. Do your best. Instead of protecting your vulnerabilities, try to overcome them and take responsibility so you have a better probability of success. 
I'm not blaming you for being depressed, for having an addiction, bad relationships, or in poverty. But I sincerely asked you to do your damnedest to make better choices. I said, make better choices. We are inclined to specific beliefs and habits, and sometimes it takes our best to overcome stinking thinking. But with each positive thought, it means you're at least trying, and that matters. You've had an option to end your life but you have a responsibility to avoid misery. I mean, why stay miserable? You want to be happy. You want to be loved. You want to be rich. You want to be successful. So do your best and live your life the way you intended it for it to go. I am rooting for your success. I will no longer commiserate with life is meaningless. I want to inspire you to understand that life is meaningful. So with these final words, thank you for listening and take action. Take control and become successful in all aspects of your life. This is Travis Bailitz with Beyond Bipolar Blog signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell button for more future videos. Take care. Have a good one. Nothing to gain Just me and myself, Mr. Lonely I can't understand Cause I took your hand But you let me go Like you didn't give a damn So now I say Whether I'm rich or poor I would've stayed Even if I was a chore So if I were with you would see the light My dreams are here And are within my sight So now I move on And feeling strong Just me and myself And my breath a song. Why are you not here or there with me? Will you be near? You set me free. You brought me your soul, but now there's a hole. Just me and myself, Mr. Low, no, no. I wish you knew, cause I'm in love. But you took my soul and I wasn't enough. So now I see whether I'm high or low. I would've loved you even if you don't know. So if I were with you, would see the light. My dreams are here and are within my sight So now I move on and feeling strong Just me and myself and my precious song